Hi, I'm just going to show you how to remove a green screen background, which is what I've got here. <laughs> this is how I'm doing this video. A green screen background from an image using GIMP so that you can create a transparent PNG file that you can then overlay and in my particular case use as a uh, thumbnail. So let's go because it's not at all obvious how to do this in GIMP. Yeah, yeah, I know. Photoshop. I don't have an Adobe account. I don't use Photoshop. So I'm using GIMP. So uh, let's drag in an image which I want to remove the green screen background of. This is me doing a big loser pose here. So I actually, so how do we remove this green screen background? Right. First step is to go in here and right click on the uh, image here and you've got to add an alpha channel. If you don't, then it you don't have the transparency uh, layer that you need and you'll just get like a white screen background. So, or w whatever the background color happens to be. So we've added our uh, add alpha channel down here. Then we want to go up to here and we want to use what's called the fuzzy select tool and select by color. So we right click on that to give us the option select by color like this. And now this is actually an interesting image because we're trying to remove the green screen and you can see how it's not very, it's not perfectly evenly lit. Okay. So it's, it's probably not going to do it in the one hit. And also we've got a green PCB in here, which makes it a bit trickier. Now, if the green PCB actually really matched the green background, we'd have a bit of trouble and we'd probably have to use some different methods to we'll certainly have to use different methods to do that. But anyway, we want to set the threshold down here. Now I'll show you if I set the threshold to say 30 like this, this is uh, the detection threshold where it detects the color. Now uh, what we do is we simply click on the background here. Okay. And it's selected. You can see how it's selected my outline reasonably well. Okay, because there's a decent contrast in there, but it's got all this crap up here like this and there's got all crap down here like this and it didn't quite get inside here like this. So, and you can see that it's actually selected some of the PCB as well. So you don't want that PCB, uh, that green PCB to, or green object, whatever it is, um, to be included in that threshold. So 30 is a bit high. So let's drop it down to 20 threshold and let's do that again. So we just uh, left click in here. Okay. And you'll notice how it now hasn't selected any of the PCB in here. So, you know, we've got the right threshold. Now what we do now, because we couldn't, can't just get rid of it like this. It'll be crap. If we just go hit delete key like that, we're left with like just <laughs> like half and half pizza here, right? That's no good whatsoever. So we have to hold down shift and then click in here and we can get more of the even color. So it just adds that and up where the, around here, just shift click again and it's got rid of that shift click again and keep shift left click in until all of it's gone away. And does that look pretty good? Now, uh, the problem is we can't go too low on the threshold here. Otherwise we'll end up with a, a green fuzz so you notice that we have actually some green around there left and uh, the thickness of that will be dependent upon the threshold. So if we didn't, if we went too low there, it would just get thicker and thicker and thicker green outlines. So a threshold in 20 in this particular case is a reasonable compromise between getting like a green little tinge around the outside of your image and not selecting this green PCB in here. So yeah, anyway, so that looks pretty good to me. So all we're going to do is hit the delete key now. And bingo, we've removed our background. And you know you've got the alpha channel, the uh, transparent background, because you end up with this checkered pattern like this. And then all we want to do is go um, export as, and then PNG image, export like that. And then we'll just leave those as default. You can muck around with those if you want. But we've exported that. And now I'll actually um, show you how I'm going to include this. Now I'm inside of Vegas, which is my video editing tool. This is where I'm going to use the image, but you can use it however you like. I've dragged it in here. So we've got, you can see, we've got the checkered background. So it's the transparent overlay and bingo, you can see that I just dragged that over and I could just save that as a thumbnail. If I want that to be the thumbnail or, you know, if I want this to be the thumbnail, it, it doesn't matter. I can like export that as the image 
for whatever I want. So there you go, I can overlay it like that. And you can see the green tinge now. You can see the green tinge outline. So yeah, it, it's a bit of a trade off there. But anyway, there you go. That is how you remove a green screen background in GIMP. And it's easy when you have one, it doesn't have to be green. It can just be any one consistent. It can be a white wall, whatever it is. But then of course, you know, my pasty white skin would be a problem, etc. So it just has to be a different color to whatever it is that, you know, your foreground image. So don't wear a green shirt. Anyway, if you found that useful, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.